During the 1990s, there was a widespread fascination with killing Barney the Dinosaur. And I know this seems like a weird topic for Christmas time, but I don't care. So for a while there, we had Microsoft Paint artwork, video games, and even works of fiction, all created with one goal in mind, finding new ways of killing everyone's favorite children's TV show icon. And one such example of this comes from the days of MS-DOS gaming. Say hello to Purple Dinosaur Mass released in 1994 by John Dunzilla. Probably. The README file actually says the author prefers to remain anonymous over fear of being sued, but there's really no doubt it's him seeing as in 1996 he released a demo of the same name for the ColecoVision. In fact, the guy was a prolific hobbyist homebrew developer for years, and if you're into the homebrew scene for systems like the ColecoVision, Magnavox Odyssey 2, and the Vectrex, there's a good chance you've played something by John Dunzilla. And I have no idea if that's how you say his last name or not, but since the way I read it makes it sound like Godzilla, that's what I'm going with. Anyway, back to MS-DOS and his follow-up to Purple Dinosaur Massacre, Christmas Carnage. And no, not that Christmas Carnage, that is another game for DOS entirely, which for a double dose of confusion released at nearly the same time and is also a shooter, albeit of a different kind. But yeah, this Christmas Carnage starts up with a wall of text, and quite the bold claim indeed. This is the goriest, most sadistic holiday-based game you will most likely ever see. After this, you're given yet another warning, and this time, it can't be skipped, only increasing the desire to see just what's in store. And what's in store is a tad underwhelming. There's a pixely snowman with a shotgun standing there as a MIDI rendition of Jingle Bells plays. Followed by Santa slowly sauntering in from the right. And since the snowman just can't handle how slow Santa is, he shoots him and grows a wide-mouthed smile. That's all the setup we need, I guess, because after this is the title screen. Pressing space begins the game, and from here you're greeted with some MIDI deck the halls and a lot more Santas going by than I bargained for. <laughs> While there's no sign of our snowman lead from earlier, or even a shotgun for that matter, you do get to control this little turret at the bottom of the screen. This shoots bullets as fast as you can mash the space bar, and there are keys for moving left and right at a fixed speed. So while Purple Dinosaur Massacre was inspired by the game's Operation Wolf and its spoof Operation Lemmings, Christmas Carnage here was seemingly inspired by games like Sabotage and Paratrooper. But instead of shooting down aircraft and soldiers, here you shoot sleighs, elves, Christmas decorations, and too many Santa Clauses. I guess this answers the age-old question of how jolly old Saint Nick is able to deliver countless presents overnight. He just has a crapload of clones! Something I know nothing about whatsoever. But yeah, that's really all there is to the game. You shoot stuff, and if it dies, you get points. And just as in Purple Dinosaur Massacre, if too many targets escape off the screen, then you get a game over. The biggest challenge here really is just abusing your keyboard fast enough and hoping you get lucky with the trajectory of your bullets. That's easier said than done, as the speed of your bullets and the speed of stuff flying by are about the same, so it's inevitable that you'll get a game over, even if you automate the keyboard bashing to get rapid fire. There's also no joystick or mouse support, so you're stuck with the imprecise digital controls of the keyboard for aiming, making it even more difficult. And on top of that, I just don't find the carnage to be that carnage-y. Of all the things that could be said about Purple Dinosaur Massacre, it had some pretty neat pixelized death animations, and Christmas Carnage pales in comparison. For a game that begins with such a ridiculous claim of being the goriest and most sadistic holiday-based game ever or something, I'm not impressed. But who cares? Half of you probably never played this game and never will, and the other half probably wrote the game off as a waste of time ages ago. So I'm not here to convince you of a single thing other than one, Christmas Carnage exists, and two, playing games like this is how I've chosen to make my living, and whether or not that's a cry for help has yet to be determined, life is weird. And so are Christmas games, man. Especially from the 90s. 
What was it about that time period that led to such an onslaught of holiday-themed computer games, many of which are purposely cynical and violent? And I'm not even complaining here, I'm just genuinely curious. I've got plenty of my own theories for this, regarding everything from the political climate of the day to the fact that cheese tastes good. At this point, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm just looking at this footage and thinking, wow, I miss being a kid. And yet I don't, because I would have thought this was cool as a kid and played it far too much for my own good. And I guess that is the magic of Christmas, the joy of Groundhog Day, and the blessings of the Mars Southern Cap observations of 1704. What a time to be alive! Christmas carnage, everyone! And if you enjoyed this video that I didn't know how to end, so that happened, then check out some of my others. There's more Christmas stuff this month and in many previous months, so yeah. And as always, thank you very much for watching what you just did.